Now, the warning that is, that is in place is to watch very carefully what happens, for example, in the United States after the event of 9-11 with the passing of, uh, for example, this Homeland Security Act or Patriot Act in effect doing away with habeas corpus, we're stripped of our, all our civil liberties and uh, the modus operandi of law becomes uh, a preemptive indefinite incarceration. Preemptive indefinite incarceration, which to this day in the United States, even uh, under President Obama, is uh, the, the letter of the law. Preemptive uh, indefinite incarceration, ladies and gentlemen, is precisely what the Islamic Republic also practices. Preemptive, or you might you, might, you look like a, a green guy, a green uh, uh, wristband. You look like a trouble. Indefinite, without any uh, uh, definition. Habeas corpus, as a as a principle, out of the out of the door. So, as I said immediately after 9/11, it is not just Muslims that they are that, that are being stripped of their civil liberties. The entirety of Americans at this moment are stripped of their uh, 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 civil liberties, as Naomi Klein and. Uh, uh, Naomi Wolf, etc., they have uh, demonstrated. Equally important is this uh, 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 issue of FLA, the, the uh, scarf issue in, uh, in France, picking on uh, you have, have had massive labor migration into the suburb of uh, uh, France. Unemployment and social alienation and political enemy is rampant. And the first thing that you do, you pick on their uh, wives and sisters that uh, we don't like the way you look and you have to uh, uh, get up, uh, 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 take it out. Now, if I were from a country in which they used to pick on people's clothing items and ask people to have a Star of David on their uh, uh, clothing items, I would be very, very careful to indulge in telling people what to wear and what not to wear. I am absolutely convinced that this manifestation of Islamophobia is old-fashioned anti-Semitism being regurgitated. And it is not just that the state apparatus, in the name of liberty, equality, and uh, the rest of it, they are picking on this thing called Muslim uh, women, that they are picking the control, which is identical. I mean, two <coughs> contradictory gestures, but identical effects. Whether in the Islamic Republic you force it on women, or in, a, in France you forcefully take it out, like Reza Shah did back in the 1920s, they're identical. In other words, Sarkozy and Ahmadinejad, as two symbols, are fighting their battle, their ideological battle, over the body of the, 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 the body of woman has become a battle, a, a, a site of contestation between two ideologies. My pr proposition is that the issue is not the closing item, but the body, the body of uh, uh, a woman, which is the site of contestation. Control over body. That is, with the a territorial nature of globalized capitalism, the only way that the state can assert its uh, a domination, its power, but is by controlling the body, whether it's legislation vis-a-vis uh, abortion, or it is, has to do with closing items, or it has to do with deciding uh, where, when the life starts in terms of uh, 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 you know uh, ge genetic engineering. All of these things, you have the state beginning to laser beam and narrow in on body, human body, as a site of uh, uh, establishing legitimate uh, power and authority. And thereby, I am even giving you a reading of suicidal violence. Because in suicidal violence, the first victim of suicidal violence, of course, is the body of the suicidal person, herself or himself, namely denying the state the site of violence that is systematic and constitutional to the operation of the state. A uh, couple of minutes, uh, I mean, just... I just conclude uh, simply by saying what we are witnessing, if we train our eyes not to assimilate them backward into habitual thinking, particularly geographical thinking, east, west, north, south, etc., and have a global conception of the, of the, of the uh, operation of the capital from its very inception. It is not by the globalization that capital has become uh, a 
uh, territorial. Capital has always been a territorial. The Bavarian question was misplaced from its very uh, beginning. We are at the cusp of a new global uprising. Whether we see it and understand it and support it and theorize it, or if we, we, even if we don't, it will happen, it is happening, and it is a glorious moment. Thank you.